Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is your sister in Christ. Ah, back with another video about marriage. Marriage is such a beautiful thing. And I'm happy to be joined by another beautiful, successful couple that I love so very much. They are matching. If that's your thing, guys, they will explain to us. <laughs> they will explain to us. So, I am joined by, I will start with the head of the house. Alright, uh, thank you so much for having us today. Uh, so my name is Justice and this is my beautiful and very young uh, yeah. wife. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've been married for four years. Actually, I always count her head. So I feel a bit intending towards four years. So when is it going to be four years? December. December. Yeah. Are you excited? Of course. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what is that one thing that you'd like to celebrate um, in December about your marriage? Right, for me, I think this year in particular is, you know, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, when I got married, when we got married, the one thing really that was uh, coming to fullness, all that was coming to fruition, was um, getting into uh, ministry, the depths of ministry. For me, for me, it was like such a big thing. Like, I wanted to, to really, like, Explore everything that God has given to me. To me in ministry. And um, I should say that first year, second year, third year, I think we I only saw parts of it. You know, uh, I think uh, part of it was exactly the marriage, of course, just what this meeting, whatever. Uh, parts of it was also just, you know, getting to fully um, get into what God has called us to do. You know? And in this There's just been so much for in the mission and the money that God has you know, given to me. Uh, seeing it play out in the totality. And that gives me like so much excitement for those two now. Because um, you know, when I look at myself as a, as a single man for marriage, you know, the, the mission was there, the money was there, the things I could do. But I never Validates you know, what the scripture says that you know, two, a one can chase a two, you know, um, they can chase small trees. So I think for me that's just the easy example. So does it mean when when God gives the husband the mission, the mandate, is it the mandate for the marriage? Is it the purpose of the marriage? Is it possible that God can give it to the wife? To the wife? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so when it comes to the, the mandate of the marriage, yes. there's an established establishment in the word of God. So it has um, a way it ought to function by God's word. Yeah. Um, someone would ask and say, what if um, someone is married to a pastor, the, the wife is a pastor, and the, the husband is not. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a member in, yeah. in, in the wife's church. So does it mean that... Um, you know, the vision of this family uh, is received by the wife because, you know, because of her role. Sure, that's a good one. But no, uh, absolutely not. Because of the way the Bible tells us about how families ought to function. And the husband has been given that responsibility, um, first of all, to carry out God's mission for this family. Because it's two children of God that are coming together. They have... Um, I think one speaker mentioned about the husband ought to understand uh, the mission or the, the at least achieve, achievements in the spirit world of the wife for him to even be able to encourage her towards those things. It's something that the Lord put in the husband. It's the same thing if you're in a church. Your pastor is your pastor. It makes no difference how you think you receive so much. Your pastor is your pastor. In God's design, he is your pastor. There's such an office. And that office ought to be respected like that. Yes. Not because of the person who's in it, but because of the establishment of the office. Sure. So, so, but it's, but for me, I want to say that these things I'm saying, it wasn't like, you know, like that understanding. It's been a journey, a journey of understanding these things, understanding how it ought to function, understanding what really is 
the vision. You know, like sure. you know, like when you're preparing for marriage, you think you get it. <laughs> ah, yes, I've got it now. I'm ready for the day. <laughs> But then, as you walk the journey, the same clarifications that come. Sure. And there's sometimes you go and miss. You know, you thought it was this direction. But it's then I think it's also being open mm -hmm. uh, for correction. You know, open for correction. As as you cons uh, consistently follow the Holy Spirit, certain things are made clearer. If you look at our ministry, there's certain things that we were doing before that we're not doing today. Yes. That means that clarifications have come. Yes. But mm -hmm. it takes an open pastor. Yes. You know, to be able to receive correction from God, that's sure. very big. So I think for me, it's, it's really been a journey, and, and I keep learning even today. Today sure. I learned something new, even today. And, you know, I continue to want to learn as well. Praise yeah. God, that's deep, that's a deep start. Yeah. And I just want to ask your wife now, how do you, how do you deal with your husband when he thought he had it? I think I asked um, one, one couple about this. When he thought your husband got it, and then he goes and this. How do you deal with that? Um, you know, um, I think the theme that um, has been spoken a lot in these amazing episodes um, is about, you know, prayer. And I think as a wife, the biggest thing is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit, one of the things that he does is a helper, mm -hmm. uh, which you as a wife you also called into the same ministry as a helper. So, um, and you know, and you spoke about that, you know, your relationship with God. And your work with the Holy Spirit is so important because He becomes the helper, the comforter, the advocate. Yes. And so if you have seen that experience of yourself, you can be an advocate to your husband because, you know, you're supposed to be the cheerleader. Yeah. So if there's a miss, you know, whether it's a miss in the business, you know, and so He's looking to you not to say, but I, I told you, but you, you did this, you know. No, it's supposed, you know, to cheerlead. And, and how do you do that? It's in the place of prayer. Yes, yes to pray and to seed for him, you know, um, because the husband receives the guidance and you know the compass, compass from God, and and for you is to help, yes. you know, and it's not helping in, in correcting and 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 the word of God likens the the, the husband and wife to Christ in the church, yeah. and so even for us with Christ, we don't like yeah hey, Christ, no, we don't do that mm -hmm. because there's a relationship even though it is, is in love, but it's it's a it's a particular it's a particular way in which it's done. The same thing with husband, even though we are we love each other, we are best friends, but it's the same way Christ in the church. And so my place of, of support and cheerleading, it needs to still have reverence and honor, um, in that way, you know, um Do you so always cheer up your husband? Like does it come natural for you to it? Oh, you did it so well. Even though you feel like ah, he didn't do it. Like, <laughs> what do you do? Do you pretend? Do you like cheer him on? Because that's one way of all, also honoring him. Yeah. You know? But what do you do if your wife are then? I know I'm speaking yeah. for a lot of wives. Yes. That you don't, don't feel like, feel like, like cheering him up. We have yes. two minutes left, but you don't yes. feel like cheering him up because he missed it. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you got it, right? And mm -hmm. you did say, look, love, the Lord is ministering to me. Let's do it this way. And your husband is like, mm mm. We're gonna do it this way, and it misses it. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, you know, and, and definitely, it's and, and that um, comes from feeling like you don't want to. And yeah. So, in marriage, yes, our hearts are connected. So we, we there's a lot of feeling that feeling can go place, yeah. but it's so it's such a sensitive thing. It's so important. And so, as much as you know, you can be like, you know, I feel this way. But how does it propel the husband forward, the household forward, is to also, so I'm saying, it's, it's where we have managed to always be spirit-filled. Sure. So that when we respond, it's not by our flesh, sure. but it's by the spirit. Sure. And so now, when your husband has, you know, done a miss, if you, res you, re you, re you, re um, you respond in that way, you'll be the last, last person he comes to to say, honey, I've done A instead of B. And so you want to be a place of, of safety, safety, of refuge, of comfort, of encouragement. You know, because sometimes the you know the whole world can go against you know our husbands, you know, particularly those who are in Christ, because we're not all this world, yeah. though, even though we are in this world. And so the voice of the wife to be a place of refuge, and comfort, and counsel, and strength, sure. it, it it gives you relevance in your marriage. Sure. Um. Mm -hmm. So so definitely feelings can be had, but I think it's about you know being a wise wife, you know, because a wise wife will not break their home, mm -hmm. but will continue to build it. Mm -hmm. Sure. And you do that with your own hands. You, know, yeah. you break it with your own hands. Yeah. You build it with your Oh, that's a good one. Thank you wow. so much to the wow. Chiotas. Thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate your presence on this channel. Oh, I was over it. I was Yay. enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much for staying tuned until this point. This is your sister in Christ and I do want you to just subscribe, like, share if you like this content. If you believe in the God in me, please share this content with the couples that you know and you know they need this content. So thank you so much. I will see you on my next video. Bye.